Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. When I'm not doing tech videos, I'm checking out comic books. Today I want to talk about Negative Burn, an underappreciated anthology type comic book with top names, very good stuff, very good art, and this first issue, that picture really nails it right on the head. I was first introduced to Negative Burn when I found the, the comics inside of a flea market on top of an antique store. I never figured out who actually owned it, but I could find the craziest comic books there, and I have a difficult time finding these comics anywhere. Like, Volume 2, I believe this is, Winter 2005, that nah, was easy to find. But the original issues are very difficult. I can't even find them to pirate them anymore, just because I want to know one particular story. The, the story of Bone Shaker, and it's really near and dear to me. Uh, when I got into comic books for the second time, I had just lost pretty much everything, and the closest people to me, and all that I had were my comic books and my stories. And a huge depression that I'm sure many people have been there before. Anyways, within the first issue of Negative Burn, I was very surprised to see names like Alan Moore. Honestly, I don't know too many other big names. But the art is beautiful. And check it out. We got the flaming freaking carrot in here. <laughs> this is a bad guy that loves to snort coke. He's going around snorting coke and stuff. So they get a lot of coke inside a jar. And then they blow him up. And he's really stoked because he keeps to keep gets to keep the jar or the bottle, I guess. But let's get to the story, Bone Shaker, the one that means so much to me. So anybody who follows professional wrestling will know that professional wrestling will mess you up, and it won't always leave you in a situation where you have a lot of money. Unfortunately, we have a professional wrestler, like someone who would work in the WWF, WWE, um, and. He's lost everything. He doesn't have any money. He doesn't have anyone. And he's thrown himself into the pool after he chained himself to a birdbath and a lawnmower. And I think a lot of us have been in a situation where we feel like doing that. Now what's next? Just there, in the dark. We are glorious, he hears. Indeed, we are glorious. Who? Who are you? Angels? No. Oh, so, uh, devils? Stand by. No. We are form from. Stand by. Away. Outside. To you, alien. We are searchers. We search. We find. Find what? Stand by. Find you. We are glorious. We have found the mighty bone shaker. At last, me? How long have you been looking for me? To you, not long. To us, much time. When you submerged yourself in dense air, stand by. Water, stand by. Pool, it became a beacon to us. Even then, the search was long. How long, huh? How long have I been down here for? Stand by. Fourteen days. Are you uncertain? Do you concur? No. No, I don't. No, that can't be right. Two weeks, I can't. You are correct. A translation error is difficult for us. So? So how long? Fourteen hours. That can't be right. I'd be drowned. I should be dead by now. Stand by. It is sometimes difficult for us. To what? Difficult to what? To stand by. To ascertain the difference between living and unliving tissue. At most levels, you are identical. What do you mean? You must not worry. Your safety is assured. Your existence is encoded. You are with us now. What are you talking about? I tried to kill myself. Hell, I've been in this pool for a half a day. I should be dead. Stand by. You are dead. You come now. You come with us. Okay, so that's pretty dark. Like, what's happening next? What's with these spinal cords? Stay tuned for the next exciting issue. Except, it pretty sure didn't even show up in the next one. And I can't even find the next one. And comic book flips. And you can continue reading other stories with another cover.
Now, going on to issue 14 that I was able to find in the comic book warehouse in Waterloo, Ontario. We start off with the bone shaker again. He's got a spinal cord. Stop. Stop squirming. Her now. Pop. All right, thanks. So you, you got your wish. He's dead. Yes. Gratitude. Uh-huh. It's a funny thing, him turning up here. I mean, what are the odds? Just happened to wreck my planet. Kill my wife. Piss me off. You told him. It was, stand by, necessary. You would not have killed him. Damn straight. So you told him. Brought him here. But why'd he go and kill everyone? It was that one's nature. Yeah, but why didn't you kill me? Stand by. Because he couldn't? I don't know. Maybe he didn't even know I was here. Stand by. Maybe he was set up like I was. Stand by. You did it. You did it all. The snow, the killing, and then you tricked him here, knowing what I'd do. Yes. Are you angry? I don't know. I don't know, shit. But I thought you guys were different. I thought you couldn't lie. Didn't even know what it was. Oh, bone shaker. We learn. So now what? You done? Yes, again, our thanks. In gratitude, we present the mighty bone shaker with a gift. Yeah? This planet. All mine. By myself. If you wish, we can stand by. Repopulate. Ah, uh, it's funny. I always thought it would be cool to be the last guy on Earth. Like Chuck Heston fighting zombies and apes and shit. And now, here I am. Just like wanted. Yes. Everything like I wanted. Being strong. Being wanted. The singing, standing up for myself. The alien chicks. And now this? Yes. Why is that? How come? We don't... We don't understand. Yeah, yeah, you do. So do I. Sometimes... I'm not so quick, you know. Sometimes giving me trouble, but I ain't so dumb. I can outwit myself. Not forever. Don't. Don't do this. No. I've been thinking. How come all of a sudden, I'm all of a sudden the strongest guy in the universe? He breaks away the reality around him. And he asks everyone to go away. Everyone. Including the reader. You too. And we pick back up. In the pool. Tied to a lawnmower. Tied to a bird bath. And that's it. The end. I found this comic about 10 years ago after finding the first one. I searched for a long time and I thought that was a sad ending. Now, it turns out a future comic takes the name Bone Shaker and I believe carries on what's going on. But I never thought I'd find something so deep in an anthology comic. And I'm still hunting for the last one. The comic that I believe it's number 18 or 22 that has a story in it. Actually, the comic name itself is Bone Shaker. So that's got to continue. And ladies and gentlemen, if you can help me with that, I'd really appreciate it. So here we have a trade version. Once again, negative burn seems to be the kind of thing that comic book writers, comic book creators really like. But for the most part, nobody knows a whole lot about them, which is unfortunate. But to me, it'll always be one of my favorite. And it'll have always come to me at the perfect time of my life. I just wish I knew what the end of the Bone Shaker story was. That's it for me, folks. I'm Nev from Nez Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, folks. And as always, take care of each other.